The magnetic flux surface integral of the normal component of the magnetic field B passing through that surface. The SI unit of magnetic flux is the Weber WB in derived units, volt CDOT seconds, and the CGS unit is the Maxwell. Magnetic flux is usually measured with a fluxmeter, which contains measuring coils and electronics, that evaluates the change of voltage in the measuring coils to calculate the magnetic flux. Topic. Description The magnetic interaction is described in terms of a vector field, where each point in space and time is associated with a vector that determines what force a moving charge would experience at that point see Lorentz force. Since a vector field is quite difficult to visualize at first, in elementary physics one may instead visualize this field with field lines. The magnetic flux through some surface, in this simplified picture, is proportional to the number of field lines passing through that surface in some contexts, the flux may be defined to be precisely the number of field lines passing through that surface, although technically misleading, this distinction is not important. Note that the magnetic flux is the net number of field lines passing through that surface, that is, the number passing through in one direction minus the number passing through in the other direction see below for deciding in which direction the field lines carry a positive sign and in which they carry a negative sign. In more advanced physics, the field line analogy is dropped and the magnetic flux is properly defined as the surface integral of the normal component of the magnetic field passing through a surface. If the magnetic field is constant, the magnetic flux passing through a surface of vector area S is phi B equals B S equals B S cos theta Display style phi underscore b equals math BF B C D O T Math BF S equals B S cos theta where B is the magnitude of the magnetic field the magnetic flux density having the unit of Weber per square meter Tesla, S is the area of the surface, and θ is the angle between the magnetic field lines and the normal perpendicular to S for a varying magnetic field, we first consider the magnetic flux through an infinitesimal area element dS, where we may consider the field to be constant d phi b equals b D S display style D phi underscore B equals math BF B C D O T D math BF S a generic surface S can then be broken into infinitesimal elements and the total magnetic flux through the surface is then the surface integral phi B equals S B D S Display style phi underscore b equals i i n t limits underscore s math b f b c d o t d math b f s. From the definition of the magnetic vector potential a and the fundamental theorem of the curl, the magnetic flux may also be defined as phi b equals s a d. Display style phi underscore b equals oint limits underscore partial s math bf a c d o t d bold symbol l, where the line integral is taken over the boundary of the surface s, which is denoted s. Topic: Magnetic flux through a closed surface. Gauss's law for magnetism, which is one of the four Maxwell's equations, states that the total magnetic flux through a closed surface is equal to zero. A closed surface is a surface that completely encloses of volumes with no holes. This law is a consequence of the empirical observation that magnetic monopoles have never been found. In other words, Gauss's law for magnetism is the statement phi b equals Display style phi underscore b equals s. Display style script style s b d s equals zero. Display style math bf b c d o t d math bf s equals zero for any closed surface s.
Topic: <laughs> Magnetic flux through an open surface. While the magnetic flux through a closed surface is always zero, the magnetic flux through an open surface need not be zero and is an important quantity in electromagnetism. <laughs> Changing magnetic flux For example, a change in the magnetic flux passing through a loop of conductive wire will cause an electromotive force, and therefore an electric current, in the loop. The relationship is given by Faraday's law E equals sigma E plus V times B D equals minus D phi B D T Display style math call e equals oint underscore partial sigma left math bf e plus math bf v times b right c d o t d bold symbol l equals d phi underscore b over d t, where e display style math call e is the electromotive force emf, phi b is the magnetic flux through the open surface sigma. Sigma is the boundary of the open surface sigma. Note that the surface, in general, may be in motion and deforming, and so is generally a function of time. The electromotive force is induced along this boundary. D is an infinitesimal vector element of the contour sigma. V is the velocity of the boundary sigma. E is the electric field. B is the magnetic field. The two equations for the EMF are, firstly, the work per unit charge done against the Lorentz force in moving a test charge around the possibly moving surface boundary sigma, and, secondly, as the change of magnetic flux through the open surface sigma. This equation is the principle behind an electrical generator. Topic: <laughs> Comparison with electric flux. By way of contrast, Gauss's law for electric fields, another of Maxwell's equations, is phi e equals display style phi underscore e equals s display style script style s e d s equals q e zero Display style math bf e c d o t d math bf s equals frac q epsilon underscore zero, where e is the electric field, s is any closed surface, q is the total electric charge inside the surface s, epsilon zero is the electric constant, a universal constant, also called the permittivity of free space. Note that the flux of E through a closed surface is not always zero, this indicates the presence of electric monopoles, that is, free positive or negative charges. See also Magnetic circuit is a closed path in which magnetic flux flows Magnetic flux quantum is the quantum of magnetic flux passing through a superconductor.